Hello everyone, a new update has just appeared in VizMaker, which is the Nano Banana Pro engine. Now we have the choice between the older version and the newer one. And in this recording, we will compare these two versions. What possibilities do they give you? First, we'll demonstrate this with a Revit project and also a project from 3ds Max from our student. And we will add a few final renders and we will try to work on them and compare how these engines work and if they are really as good as everyone praises them. We start with a project from Revit. Next, we click the Send to VizMaker icon and the view instantly appears in VizMaker. We select an image and first use the View to Render prompt with the Nano Banana Pro Render Engine. For resolution, we can choose, for example, 2K and select the original proportions. Now we click Make and select the same older Nano Banana Rendering Engine, then click Make. What we need to pay attention to is that the newer Nano Banana Pro engine is a little bit slower than the older engine. It requires a bit more processing power, which makes it slightly more expensive, but we'll see in a moment what result it gives us here. And here is the result. We can now compare these two images side by side. Well, you can clearly see uh, there's a real difference. Let's now place them into the comparison tool and check in higher resolution what exactly differentiates these two images. The leap, in my opinion, is gigantic. It rendered longer, but I think it was worth the wait. Now we'll see how the older Nano Banana engine handles adding people. We select the first item, Nano Banana. Now we click on Add People. We click on Make. We now select Nano Banana Pro. We click Add People and also choose Make. And now we'll see how people are added here. In the meantime, we can also use a prompt. Uh, for example, close up on the newer Nano Banana engine and on the older Nano Banana engine. We can also choose the animal close up prompt. We click make with the newer Nano Banana Pro engine. I'll click make and we'll compare uh, the results. Okay, here's the results. Let's take a look at the older Nano Banana engine versus the brand new one. In my opinion, the older one handles these specific tasks quite well here. Old Nano Banana did it much faster. So for these close-ups, I'd use the older Nano Banana engine. Um, let's compare another close-up render now. Here we see the new engine has a bit more detail, but it's not that different. We can also put these images into the comparison tool and see how they differ. Here, there is actually a little bit more detail. It looks much more realistic, but the detail from the old Nano Banana engine is also quite uh, quite good. So in this particular case, for creating final renders from a single screenshot uh, from Revit. Well, Nano Banana Pro is perfect here, but for simpler tasks, the older Nano Banana engine might actually be better as it runs a bit faster. Let's look at adding people. What's the difference between these two images here? This is Nano Banana Pro. To the right is the older Nano Banana. There's no big difference. The older Nano Banana also did very, very well. Let's see how the new Nano Banana Pro handles climate change in our demo. So we select Nano Banana Pro. Now we choose winter. We click make. Uh, we're going to select autumn, uh, then click on make. Next, we'll choose golden hour. And we'll do exactly the same for the older Nano Banana engine. I'll also select winter, autumn, and then golden hour and we'll compare uh, the effects in just a moment. Okay, and here are the results. Let's now take a look at the comparison of the older Nano Banana version with the newer one. Well, we don't really see that big a difference here. We'll also see on other images when we generate them in a moment. But actually, a little more detail on the snow does appear in this newer Nano Banana version. We can compare them here. On the right side is the Nano Banana Pro. On the left side is the older Nano Banana engine. We can actually see a little bit more of that detail here. Let's now compare the autumn season's atmosphere. On the right side, we'll also put Nano Banana Pro. And here we see that this new Nano Banana came out a little bit nicer, but we don't see a colossal difference either. And Golden Hour, in my opinion, it just loses here. Of course, it also depends on the prompt we enter, but we're comparing one to one with the same prompt. This render from the older Nano Banana engine turned out a little better in this case. But here I'm going back to this image. The difference at the start is simply a colossal to the advantage of Nano Banana Pro, of course. So for in these cases, 
faces. It's simply ideal. Okay, now we'll move to a different visualization. We'll play around a bit with this interior, which you've already seen in our open webinar. We select the VizMaker icon and a viewport now appears in our VizMaker program. We select the older Nano Banana engine, click view to render, click make, select the new Nano Banana Pro engine, 2K resolution, also view to render. Generally, the main advantage of Nano Banana Pro is that we can render here at a much higher resolution. With the older Nano Banana, we only have 1K to choose from, which is a bit low. But of course, we then use the Magnific Upscaler, which can perfectly boost our resolution even four times and also add details to our visualization. All right, let's take a look at the final effect. Well, the difference is also truly colossal. Uh, let's compare it once more in our comparison tool. And we can see here that from such a simple screenshot, it created a truly excellent effect. Flux is also capable of doing similar things. So let's use the very same prompt and the outcome will also be quite similar. It won't just be a flat screenshot, like the older Nano Banana engine simply leaves it. This render will be quite good and much, much faster and cheaper. With Flux, we can create renders like these, but it's ideally suited for interiors. For exteriors, Flux doesn't create visualizations as well, so Flux is very good for creating interior renders from 3ds Max or SketchUp viewport. We'll now load a scene that was made during our training by our student Polina, and let's see how it differs from the render created with Nano Banana. Here, the detail is much, much greater. We also see that the color scheme in this scene is much more cohesive. When rendering in 3ds Max, we have full control over every element of our scene, our lighting, textures, and materials. And should our client have any requests, nothing will surprise us because we can simply and very easily adjust everything in our scene. After our training, you'll be able to create such scenes from scratch in just a few hours if you master our visualization techniques. And now, on this stage, we'll continue to operate and compare these two engines, Nano Banana, the older version, with Nano Banana Pro, First, we'll begin by drawing directly on our render. We'll then point out the object that we wish to remove. Let's mark it like this. And right away, we'll add a green spot in this place. Then we'll use a prompt to remove the object marked in red and add a dog where the green spot is. For now, we're doing this with the older Nano Banana engine. Then we switch to Nano Banana Pro, go into the drawing tab and also hit make. We'll see the effect now. Uh, let's compare both engines with Nano Banana Pro. It definitely took much longer. The removal effect is done here. We see Nano Banana Pro also added a detail that was missing here. That's also a plus. It left all the items on the fireplace that were there. He also handled it very well. He added a dog perhaps more realistically, but it did take a bit longer. So in this fight, they are quite similar. But in my opinion, Nano Banana's older version wins here because it rendered much, much faster. Let's now take a look at another visualization created by our student Kate during our training. How can we manage to replace the sofa in the render? We load a sofa image here, then move it to this exact spot. We click on the render and now we combine both images here into one, then enter a prompt to replace the sofa for us. We click on make, then select the older Nano Banana engine. We also combine two images here together and also click on make. Let's check the effect. The older Nano Banana engine did quite well too. The new Nano Banana engine captured the sofa's shape better. Here we can see it looks exactly like the reference. It has all these details. Here we don't see them. It just changed color. In this case, it did replace the sofa, but the downside is it changed the proportions of our render and it also took a bit longer. But for detailed precision, Nano Banana Pro clearly wins this round. Okay. Now, using a render created by our student Philip during our seven week training, we'll see how both engines handle adding a person as indicated in the drawing. So we go to the drawing tab and can simply draw such a figure. We enter the prompt, click make. Now we select the new Nano Banana engine. We also click make and we'll see the result shortly. And now we have a comparison. On the left, the older Nano Banana engine, and on the right, the new one. In my opinion, both did quite well. Let's see now how they will handle adding a winter atmosphere. So we choose winter, click on make, then we select the older rendering engine, also winter, and click on make. And we're about to see the effect right here. Okay, let's check. 
On the left, uh, the older Nano Banana engine. On the right, Nano Banana Pro, and you can judge for yourselves. The new Nano Banana Pro engine performs truly brilliantly here. So for changing the climate, it's really very good. Let's compare these two images uh, directly with each other. Here's the older Nano Banana, and here's Nano Banana Pro. The effect is indeed enormous. It definitely captured the winter atmosphere better. This one didn't change the atmosphere. It just simply added snow. So here, Nano Banana Pro definitely wins. One more thing, at the end, we need to check how replacing the chair in our visualization works. We search for any image online, click copy, then go to VizMaker and enter the drawing tab. We'll remove the old drawing, right click and paste the image, then we'll describe with a prompt to replace the chair on our render. We type the prompt and hit make using the new Nano Banana Pro engine. Next, we select the older Nano Banana. We go to the drawing tab and also click make with exactly the same prompt and soon we'll see the effect. Okay, and we have the results. Let's see. The older Nano Banana engine couldn't handle this task. The new one handled it perfectly. We can see that the chairs were ideally replaced. And not just one, but both chairs with the one we pointed to in this very picture. So you can see the comparison for yourselves. In the VisMaker program, you not only have two Nano Banana engines, but also the Flux rendering engine, which we discussed earlier. You have the Magnific Upscaler, which is perfectly suited for enlarging our images. You can also very conveniently create videos using the Seadance, Kling, Sora, and VEO engines. VizMaker is a tool made by designers for designers, perfectly suited for creating and editing visualizations. Download it now using the link provided in the description. See you soon.